let's do some probability and solve a riddle while we're at it, just because. We've got two pages, we'll do this one first. This one's a little bit easier, but it has some parts to it that um, you may not be familiar with. So that's one reason I wanna do this. We'll start in with, um, we'll do one from each section, actually. On this spinner, the probability of A. Well, A is two out of four possible outcomes, be two fourths, which reduces to one half. And then we go on to this one, the probability of a number less than seven. This is a die, it has six sides, and the biggest number is six. So all the numbers are less than seven. So you have a six out of six probability of landing on a number less than seven. Finally, we'll go down here on this spinner. What's the probability of landing on a vowel? There is one vowel, one, two, three, four, five, and five possible outcomes. This would be one fifth. Now, you think this is simple. Well, let's look and see, find our answers at the bottom. The first one we're looking for is one half. Well, that's this one, it's E. Do you see any others that could be one half? Maybe written in a decimal form. Okay, you've got, this is one whole, then you've got, this would be five tenths, two tenths, 25 hundredths. Which one of these is the same as half? Do you see it? It's this one. This one is also one half. You may have thought when we found this one that we had done it all, but in actuality, it wasn't the only one. Most of these are in your standard fraction form, but sometimes they chose to convert it to decimal form as well. Oh, the probability of a number less than seven, we said was six out of six. I don't see a six out of six, but that converts to a one whole. Do we see one down here that's one whole? This one right here, one whole. I would make this one O. All right, and then down at the bottom, the probability of landing on a vowel is one-fifth. Come down here. I don't have one-fifth. It's not there. Must be in decimal form. See, we've got these two left. This one is two-tenths. This one is twenty-five hundredths. One of these reduces to one-fifth. Let's try this one first. Divide by two. That's it, one-fifth. So the probability of landing on a vowel is two-tenths of a percent, two, is two-tenths, excuse me, or one-fifth. It would be W. Most often, probability is, is um, written in the form of a fraction, but it is sometimes written in decimal form, so you need to be familiar with that as well. Looking at the second page, on this page we have a die. We're going to roll a die. Now, the first thing we need to do is determine what are the possible outcomes, or how many are there. It's got six sides, one number on each side, so there are six possible outcomes. Now that we've established that, let's go ahead. Rolling a six-sided die and getting a one or a five. Right, so a one or a five. There are two sides that have either a one or a five. So that means we have a probability of two out of six. And that reduces to one third. Now, number six, rolling two six-sided die. So we're gonna have two of them this time. 
What is the probability of getting a 3 and a 6? Well, each one has a 3 and a 6. There are 6 sides here, there are 6 sides here. So that means there are 12 possible outcomes. Because altogether you've got 12 sides. This one has a 3 and a 6, and this one has a 3 and a 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's 4 out of 12 chances of getting 3 or a 6 with 2 dice. That reduces to 1 third. Now let's make sure we write the probability correctly. The probability of 1 or 5 is 1 third. And for number 6, you'll write the probability of getting a 3 or a 6 is also 1 third.